Today we'll see one more interview question that is how to find the number of occurrences of a letter or digit from a given string. It can be achieved by using regular expression and without regular expression that is by using a length and replace function. And also we'll see how to find the position of a string. It can be achieved by using INSTR function. Before going to the actual interview question, let us understand some of the concepts so that it would be comfortable to understand the interview question. First one is the length function. This is used to find the length of a string. The syntax is the length and the particular string we need to pass. So output would be six. Next one is the replace function. The name itself suggests that it will replace that the particular string. The syntax is as follows. It has three parameters. First one is the actual string and the second one is the pattern and the third one is the string which needs to be replaced. So in the oracle string, I need to replace E with X. The output would be like this. In a similar way, we are not specifying the third parameter. So output would be like this. So it will remove that E from the particular string. Now we'll see the actual interview question by using regexp count. From the given string developer, I need to find the number of occurrences of E. This is the query which uses to find the number of occurrences by using regexp count. So output would be three. Next one by using length and replace function. First of all, we need to find the length of the string. By using length function, we can able to achieve, that is nine. Second step is to replace E. From developer, there are three E's are there. We are replacing with, so output would be like this. Next step is that from developer, we need to subtract the replace to E character. So length of developer minus length of replace developer. So output would be nine minus six, it would be three. Next one is the INSTR. It is used to find the position of the particular string. It has four parameters. First one is the actual string, second one is the such string, and the third one is the start from which position we need to start and the number of occurrences of the particular string. So in Oracle, numbering starts from one and that two from left to right. So from the given oracle string, I need to find the position of E. So we know that E is at sixth position. So output would be six. Some tricky interview question we'll see. From the given string ABCDF, we need to find the X position. We know that X is not available in the ABCDF. So output would be zero. Next one is the sub str of abc of phi comma two. So from the fifth position, we need to extract two characters, but fifth position is not available. We have only three characters. So output would be null. So output of INSTR is like number or zero. If it matches, it will exact the particular position. If it doesn't matches, then zero will be returned. In a similar way, the output of sub str is string. If it matches, the particular string will be extracted. If it doesn't matches, Null will be thrown. Next upcoming video is like printing the Oracle keyword in different patterns. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.